Hey guys, Luke Clausen here. We just finished up, or I just finished up Lake Okeechobee, our second stop of the year for the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. Didn't have the event I wanted to have. Actually, uh, practice was pretty decent, but we had great sunny, warm conditions. And uh, as well as it all often happens in Florida, we end up with 30 to 35 mile an hour winds, a cold front that blows in, really turn the lake upside down. Lake Okeechobee's a shallow dish pan, gets pretty muddy, fish in Florida do not like the dirty water or the cold water. So definitely changed things a lot. And I did not make the cut through the, the first round, through my first group. I needed to get in the top 20, was 22nd. So just missed that by a little bit and really just scrapped around and caught some fish. You know, it was uh, not easy. I caught a, a few doing a couple different things. I started with probably 20 rods on the deck it was pretty confident I could get bit on any of them after practice. By the end of the tournament, I was left with two standing. And uh, really the two things that I caught them on were pitching around a Z-Man bang sticks. It's a straight bait, you know, it's kind of like a stick worm. It's got a little bit of action on the tail. Uh, really good spawning style bait or round fish that are spawning just because of its buoyancy. Uh, it floats up off the bottom. You ever look at this in shallow water, pool, whatever, really cool. Cause this thing has tons of action and it always just stands erect there and is moving around. Um, great when you're pitching those areas where there's bed fish. A lightweight, this is about as heavy as I went, uh, 3 16 went even lighter when I could, but the wind was pretty extreme. Uh, 17 pound Seaguar Brazex fluorocarbons, what I was pitching around, isolated stuff like pads, reeds, anything you kind of envision a bed being around. There's so much Kissimmee grass or huge areas of reeds or pads, those isolated little deals are, what I was trying to focus on a lot of the time, especially uh, when you got in areas that presented that kind of opportunity. They're not all the lake has that kind of stuff. There's definitely fish that spawn in other places, but those are kind of the easy targets there to hit. The other thing I did a lot looking because things had changed so much, it was like starting over, was a dirty jigs, 3 8 ounce, uh, no jack swim jig. You can see it's got a big hook in it, 65 pound Seaguar Smackdown braid. Uh, this is a five inch diesel minnow. I actually cut the head off a little bit because I went a little shorter. I had a couple of them bite the tail of it, uh, but uh, <clears throat> has a lot of action again with that elastic. And that dirty jig's just, it really hooks them good, comes through all this cover. Um, I was throwing that on a uh, G. Loomis. It's actually a Carolina rig rod, an 873C in more of the open water. Um, it's a little bit softer. It's not a super broomstick, but I could cast it really accurately. It went to some heavier rods after that. Uh, um, a nine, or, uh, 895 uh, JWR, I also threw that on, both with uh, the 65 pound uh, Smackdown braid. 7.4 uh, Corrado K. Shimano Corrado K reel, something that I can keep that bait moving, but you need something a little bit faster with that swim jig. Sometimes they just come up and wanna just push it right at you and your line just falls slack. You need something to be able to catch up to those fish. Um, the other rod I used was actually the same rod I won the Classic on, Mike, my, my favorite all around rod. Uh, it's an 844C MBR GLX G Loomis rod. I use this a lot for worm fishing, pitching around these kind of plastics, little jigs, stuff like that. It was perfect for this. I also used, again, a heavier rod with the same setup, just getting places that I didn't want to get my butt kicked by some of those bigger fish. This is great for the isolated stuff though. Um, the 17 pound of Brazex against Seaguar and uh, a five odd uh, all purpose worm hook by owner. And this is the new Bantam, Shimano Bantam. A uh, really impressive reel. I uh, I wish I owned all of these because uh, after using anything else, this is like the reel that I want to have in my hands all the time. And uh, this is just a 6.2 to 1, uh, kind of an average speed reel. I use it for a, a lot of worm fishing, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, stuff like that, that speed reel. But uh, it's plenty good speed for pitching a worm around, just super smooth. The reel is mind-blowing how easy the line comes off, how smooth it is in your hand, and how solid it feels. It's all one-piece frame, so it just feels incredibly rigid. But that was my pretty much my tournament. I could have just started with those two baits, that bang sticks in a swim jig. I, I also did use a uh, Alabama brim color swim jig a little bit, but uh, that was most of my tournament. I wish I would have kind of consolidated what I started with and maybe had a little bit head start and figuring things out. But man, it was, uh, it was not easy for me. I just missed the cut. I'm going home with my tail between my legs, but we just got uh, another week and a half heading to Lake Fork to catch some big ones. You guys can find all this tackle at tacklewarehouse.com.